Hello everyone. Now this topic which we are going to discuss today is covered also covered in the circulatory system. It includes the various blood vessels that is the artery, vein and capillaries also will be doing. Now first of all I will be discussing arteries and veins parallelly that makes the topic much more easy and we will discuss the structural difference also. Now starting up with arteries and veins first of all functional which I think almost all of you must be knowing that the arteries they carry oxygenated blood and the veins they carry deoxygenated blood. There is an exception, artery, pulmonary artery is the only artery which carries deoxygenated blood whereas pulmonary vein is the only vein which carries oxygenated blood. After that, next are the structural differences. Arteries, they have a very narrow lumen. Narrow means small. And veins, they have a very wide lumen. Arteries, they have thick walls around the lumen. Veins, they have thin walls around the lumen. Arteries, they don't have valves. Do not have valves. Veins, they have valves. I'll explain all, the, all of them once again. First is arteries, they have a narrow lumen. That means this part is the artery. Narrow lumen. What is lumen? The opening of the blood vessel is known as lumen. So the artery, it has a narrow lumen, whereas the vein, it has a wide lumen. The next part is, the arteries, they have thick muscular walls, veins, they have thin muscular walls. Arteries, they have thick walls around, and veins, as you can say, uh, see that it has less number of walls. There are different labelings for it, which I am going to tell you right now. After lumen, the innermost layer of both the blood vessels is known as endothelium. E-N-D-O-T-H-E-L-I-U-M Endothelium After that, the next layer is Tunica Media The blue part which I have colored in blue Next layer is Tunica Externa <coughs> Tunica Externa which I have colored mm. yellow Okay, so there are three three layers, but as you can see in uh, veins, the uh, tunica media and tunica externa they are very small, whereas in arteries, tunica media and externa they have thick portions covered. That is, the arteries they have thick muscular walls, whereas the veins they have thin muscular walls. After that, the arteries they do not have any valves. Valves, as I have already explained in the previous video, what are valves? They are just like uh, they are just like covers or caps or uh, doors which are uh, which when closed does not allow the passage of the blood which when open allows the passage of the blood so the veins they have valves present here valves are present in the veins but the arteries they do not have the valves now related to this I will be explaining two reasoning questions one is it's always asked that why the arteries they have thick muscular walls reason for this is answer for this is that the arteries they have thick muscular walls because the blood flows in arteries with great pressure and jerks so the walls are thick if the pressure is more and the walls are thin they will rupture so to maintain that pressure so that the arteries can take that pressure the walls are made thick and the other question is that why valves are present in veins now the answer for this is that the veins they have valves present in them to prevent any backflow of the blood that is when the blood is moving through the veins the there might not be any backflow if the blood backflow will be there the blood will again go to the organs so to prevent any backflow of the blood the veins they have valves present in them now this was about artery and vein the last left topic or the last left blood vessel are the capillaries I'll explain you this capillaries they don't have much but they are there capillaries what are capillaries capillaries are minute blood vessels first of all you must remember they are single cell 
they have they are, their wall is only made up of one single cell they are very thin they are very delicate very thin now these capillaries suppose arteries are there and veins are there the capillaries which arise from arteries are known as arterioles and from the veins are known as venules i'll make this easy for understanding for example for example i say that uh, this is kidney and from kidney an artery is flowing this must be an artery is flowing this artery is known as renal artery now this artery can't be so long it will move throughout the whole body what will happen after a while this artery will now bifurcate into very thin arterioles or very thin capillaries so that the blood can be passed through whole of the body these are capillaries now answer for the question that why the arteries 